This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. I'm wondering if you can answer this question. Me and my longtime high school girlfriend had to take a break because I was going to college, but it was on good terms. And we both said how we felt, mistake, and that it would be hard to do anything with anyone else for a long time because of how we feel for each other. And me and her rarely ever uh, hooked up. And it took six months to even do it. Like we were both big on respecting each other and making crap like that special and not overdoing things. I'm going to break this up because there's no there's no uh, periods or, or stops in this. So I'm going to stop that there. Right. So, um, yeah, high school girlfriend. Yeah, you're breaking up like I'm sorry. The majority the, the, the number of people I've seen that were high school sweethearts that end up together in a long term relationship in my lifetime is two. And that's the people that I've known from high school all the way up to now, two. All right. So it's it's possible. It is not probable. All right. But more to the point, he says, um, all this feeling stuff. Again, you're a high school guy. I'm not gonna be too hard on you, but like needs to say, you try to express all these feelings for this girl. It's not necessary. It's too mushy, mushy, mushy to, to do anything really. And all we care about is the woman expressing that. If a woman's expressing these things, I just feel these things, blah, blah, blah. She can be mushy. It, it works in their end. We need to hear that. You need to be sticking to actions that show that more so than, than words that are saying it. And then every so often, a flower, hey, babe, I think you're special. Keep it really light. Keep it fluffy, but don't like go overboard, all right? Anyway, so he says, uh, then after I said goodbye, she leaves on a family trip and two days after, she bangs uh, a random guy that she met at her hotel and then got with another guy, which is against what I believe in. And I can't believe she gave herself out like that and did things with random guys at a beautiful hotel that I've never done with her. Um, I'd just like to know how you found out all the information. Like the fact that you willingly, that you know all those details I don't know how that got shared or at what point she was trying to talk to how you asked her about that, or whatever, but like, that's a, a high level detail to learn about a girl. But anyway, he says, my point is that this was like two months ago and she wants me back and I'm having a hard time seeing her the same way. She wants to date again. And I just can't seem to look past it, but I wish I never knew it in the first place, but I feel disrespected and I cared so much about her and only her that it hurts to know something like that. Uh, something like that, like the girl I was in love with would never, ever do that, but I just found out and wanted your help super bad. So first I want to say, I'm sorry you're going through that situation. Uh, it can, it's, it, cause you're a younger guy. And I got to think back to like, when I was a younger guy, I remember I had a crush on this girl and it was me, her, I had another close friend of mine. We were all in a friends group together and I took her to prom. We had a good time. Uh, I didn't kiss her at prom though. Like I was still that guy that was like, I'm not sure if I should do a thing like this guy. Like, oh, I want to be respectful. I was thinking, is kissing her on her parents' por porch really respectful, even though I want to? And she looks like she wants to. I don't know. So I'm not going to do anything. And then fast forward to, of course, there was a falling out. I told her how I feel about her and a note. She hugs me at school. Then we stopped talking to each other. And then she goes and hooks up with my best friend. Um, and I was like, what the freak, you know? Um, but 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 in that happening, that was my first time realizing that women can also do dirt. And the problem that most men have early on in the dating process is that we, we as men want to think the best of women. We generally, generally want to believe that women out there are these sweet angelical creatures and they would never intentionally cause harm to us. If they like us, they're not going to hurt our feelings. And if they don't like us, and they know that we like them, they're still going to be gentle and aware about how we're taking things in and not do things of their own self-interest if it's going to hurt us. And this is a lesson that every guy across the board eventually comes to when stuff like this happens, whereby a girl that you viewed one way is going to suddenly act another way or do a certain thing to you that's going to open your eyes a bit. And when your eyes first open to the, to the realities of things that women can actually do, it hurts and because it's like it's a it's a literally like um like a glass shattering like it goes from like you have this this picture perfect ass glass like this mug right here right this mug is in absolute perfect condition as far as I know it's very sturdy it's never gonna break but if I throw that crap hard enough into a wall it's gonna break and I will be like oh, but it was an unbreakable mug I never thought it was every guy goes through that and so 
this is this is a lesson for you, guy, to understand something very, very important, right? Is that this is why you do not put women on a pedestal. Because I'm going to tell you now, no woman out there is without flaws. Every woman out there has the ability to be out for her own self-interest. And in this case, like, you guys have broken up. So as I've talked about on this channel before, if you break up with a woman and she is no longer yours in that time frame, she goes out and does some other stuff. If she comes back to you later and you want to ask questions about, did she hook with anybody else? And she tells you, you have to decide if that's news that you can deal with. Because the reality is that as much as I'm on your side, guy, you guys are broken up. She had the right to do whatever kind of activity that she wanted to do while you guys are broken up because you guys weren't committed to each other. Now, if you are if you decide to judge that activity and say, based on you hooking up with two guys while we were broken up, I don't want to deal with you, then that's completely in your right. But I, I'm, I'm stressing to you that you're, you're, you were putting this woman on a pedestal where you thought that she could never do this kind of behavior. And what I'm telling you is that all women have the ability to do this kind of behavior. I don't care if she's a church girl. I don't care if she's a girl that is like, you know, a lawyer or the senator of, of your, your state, or she's the most pious nun you've ever met in your entire life. Or she like, is like all soft and docile. Like, oh my God, this will be having such a great day. Like all those girls across the board have the ability to do this kind of behavior. And I don't say that to you as a means of making you upset or sad. I say it to you to give you a dose of reality. That way, when you go out there in the dating world for your future girls and you hear these kind of things, it's not going to shock you. I think as men, we think we've been taught that like, you know, oh, guys are all about sex and guys are all about hookup culture and just trying to bang whatever. And guess what, guy? There are women that are out there like that, too. And those women are you're, you're not thinking that women can be that way, but they very much can be. And so the more of a realistic version of women that you have, then you'll be less butthurt when this happens. And you'll just be like, oh, so we were broken up and just with two other guys. Okay, so do I want to deal with that now? I don't. Or you could say, well, she dealt with two other guys. Do I want to deal with that? Well, we were broken up and maybe those guys helped to realize she wanted to still be with me even though we're going to different schools. So, okay. Like you can, either one of those responses is totally fine. But what's not fine is you thinking that women would never do this. Women are capable of, of embezzling money, of cheating on you, of giving you STDs, of going behind your, your back to try to tell stuff to your family. Like women have negative behaviors too. And I stress this because I think so many people put negative behaviors on guys, like we're the problems in all these relationships. Sometimes women can be the problem in your relationships. All right. So I would say, I'm sorry that you're going through this, but hopefully this gives you a more realistic idea. And honestly, this tells me too, that you probably didn't have a realistic version of who she was during the relationship either, which means she probably felt a lot of pressure to have to appear a certain way in front of you. And women can tell if they're dating a guy that's going to be judgmental of them based on certain things. You know, there are some men that if a woman comes to them and says, oh, I watch adult movies, the guy will be like, oh, how could you get blah, blah, blah. Or if a woman says like, oh yeah, I hooked up with a couple of guys before I met you. Oh, you hooked up with a couple of guys, blah, blah, blah. And women can feel that. And in an attempt to want to still be with you and not be judged, they will alter how they act in order to get in your good graces. The fact that she came to you at all and told you, hey, so before we get back together, I hooked up with, with two other guys. That is somewhat admirable. I don't know how the conversation came up. I'm guessing you probably asked her. But the fact that she even told you, that's on some level admirable because she could have hit it. She could have said, hey, during the two months we were, we were together, I, I hooked up with nobody. Many women will lie about that because men are very judgmental about them and they know it, all right? But you want a woman that feels like she can come to you and be open and honest. And so sometimes that means that she's going to tell you stuff that you're not going to want to hear. But if you want an open and honest relationship with the woman, you have to be able to react to that in a way that's not so hyper, like, oh my God, she hooked up with two guys when we were broken up. Oh, my world's over. How could she? Oh, you're such a... Like, that's not going to make a woman want to get with you. And you might say this in the moment and then realize later on, oh, you know what? Okay. I was a bit judgy about that. I still want to get with her. But now the judgment's out and you made her feel a certain way. And now she doesn't want to get back with you at all. So you got to really look at the idea that, again, women can act as badly, if not worse, than men are. And you got to have a more realistic idea of the women you're looking at. No matter, don't let their pretty looks fool you, their nice curves fool you, their soft voices fool you. Like Eve got tipped, was able to tempt Adam in the garden using the same voice and curvy body, you know? So you got to look at it like that. Like, Women are designed by nature to be able to attract men and sound a certain way and look a certain way. That does not mean they cannot be evil and manipulative. Obviously, on this channel, I like to promote that women overall, I feel, are legitimately good people that are out there to try to get a guy that's going to be there for them, that they can also be there for whatever. But that doesn't take away from the fact that both men and women at large can be 
nefarious at times. And the more you're able to start seeing that, the better. So hopefully God this helps you out.